How and why is the Australian curriculum culturally bound? In answering this question, we must consider a couple of concepts. The first is ontology. This is the way a person or cultural group perceive reality and the world. The second is epistemology. This refers to the way that knowledge is produced, held, and shared. The Australian curriculum is constantly evolving, but descends from European schooling brought here during colonization. Since then, Australian political and educational leaders have been predominantly white. They have had conscious and unconscious influences on the curriculum for it to reflect and support European cultural values, worldviews, and beliefs. This is seen explicitly in the content, and it is seen in what is known as the hidden curriculum, where subjects and content are prioritized to support European cultures and to ma marginalize other cultures, making the curriculum culturally bound. One example is with Australian Indigenous culture, which arguably should have more influence on the curriculum as it has continuously existed in these lands for tens of thousands of years. Indigenous Australian ontologies and epistemologies have distinct characteristics when compared to European cultures. In Indigenous Australian cultures, generally knowledge is acquired and shared through relationships with land, nature, community and spiritual beliefs. European ontologies and epistemologies, on the other hand, are more empirical and objective. Knowledge is acquired through formal processes such as reading text, regimented schooling with one teacher for many students, scientific investigation, and academic research. Knowledge is less about individual experience and often there is only one correct answer. In the sciences and humanities in Australian schools, humankind is represented as a civilization that analyzes nature to take control of it and dominate it. In indigenous cultures, there is more of a focus on living with nature and to understand it by living in it, not reading about it. 